Doing good. See, how about yourself? I'm doing good and happy Tuesday. Uh, happy Tuesday to you too. Thank you. We have a special guest on the line. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. All right. Well, hello, everybody. I am Lily Washington. I am the founder and owner of YB Limited, and I am partnered with 3BR Studios. And um, yes, that's what brings us here. And this is my production partner here. I'll let him introduce himself. Okay. Well, that's me, I guess. Uh, hello, my name is David Hand. And uh, as Lily said, we are production partners. I founded uh, 3BR Studio not too long ago. And uh, it's great to be here with you guys. It's great to have y'all here cool. today. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is full circle. I remember when you started, like literally, no, 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 no. Let me take it back, because I'm about to <laughs> <laughs> I remember before you started. Yes, yes. yes. Like, you, you know, you was my mentor. You kind of gave me a lot of advice on a lot of things, and I sure appreciate you for everything. I definitely do. No, no, no. I am, listen, when you mentor somebody who takes what you share with them, because I don't give anybody anything. I share. And because what I mean by that is like, you know, I just set it out there. If you use it, you use it. If you don't, you don't. But I know it works. So I'm going to go ahead and keep using it, right? Mm -hmm. But when, when, you, when you take someone, takes it and, and runs with it and they just do their own thing, it's, that is the most rewarding thing. You can't put a price on that. So I'm really just honored to watch your growth. Well, thank you. I sure appreciate it. But I want to talk about your film. I'm so excited. This has been a journey, a long time coming. Yes. Tell us about it. <laughs> well, first of all, you have been trying to get me to write a book forever. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. And although I'm a creative being, I'm more of a visually creative being. So, you know, it was a little bit like, I don't know, like, I, I didn't, I just didn't feel moved for a book, right? And then I ended up being called by David and Miss Alex to do the last film, right? Which was The Greatness After. And I was just, you know, pull the mosey on and, and, and be a co-star and, you know, all of that good stuff. And it went awesome. It actually went better than we all expected it to, right? And then after that, it was like, okay, what's next? And next thing you know, we were in pre-production and then production of my life story, which you know is a very interesting story. <laughs> and to be clear, this is just one little slice of that interesting story. So if uh, this will certainly wet, wet the public's appetite for the rest of that story, Lily. I, yes, I, I think so. And, and you know, we kind of did that on purpose with this one because the first one was literally our first anything production as, you know, just creative project. It was totally, um, you know, totally new for all of us. So we learned some things and we took it into the, the next film and, and we're going to be taking things into the next film, you know? Um, but from this one, it was like, wow, there's so many different angles we could have went with this story. Mm -hmm. And so we was like, well, you know what? Let's give them a full story. Let's give them a, like, you, you're, going to, you're going to get what you need, <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to want more, you know? So, yeah. I am so excited. But what do you plan on um, getting, like the feedback you plan on getting from the audience? <laughs> oh, God. Um... I will tell you the feedback that we've gotten thus far. We've um, showed it to small, you know, limited people to mm -hmm. get feedback and to get, you know, and I will say, thank God, <laughs> um, the feedback has been phenomenal. And the, the biggest thing that um, we've overwhelmingly heard is that so many people, so many people are going to be helped 
from this. This is not for entertainment purposes only. You're going to be entertained, bring your tissue, and you're going to definitely learn something, um, really. Uh, I mean, yeah. David, I mean, what, what do you think? Because, I mean, I know you've shown it to some people. I, I have too, and I've had overwhelmingly positive reviews so far. I mean, you know, the biggest gratification for me thus far was when I showed you the, the early final cut, and it was three people, uh, four of us in the room, and, you know, those three folks, yourself included, seeing it for the first time, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. So, mission accomplished. And, um, you know, but, but feedback across the board has been, you know, wow, you, you know, you really did that. You really went there. And, um, and, you know, just like you said, that, that it, it hits people, you, you know, we make these as, as um, Black Trans Lives Matters films, but they resonate, they're universal. You know, the experiences that you went through are the same as so many other people. You know, if, if it's just one of them, or a combination of them. And I think that's why, you know, the appeal is so strong. I agree. Yeah. I, I, I like to say confidently that this is not limited to a Black trans life story. Um, I think it was great that we are showing different aspects of Black trans lives because I think any human are, is going to be able to see themselves in this story. Um, I also will say this parents can learn learned a lot from this parents can learn a lot from this yeah that that is the, the you know that is the biggest message i think that is here it's not only a message of perseverance but it's sort of a cautionary tale for parents yeah and i won't say anything more than that <laughs> <laughs> Well, go ahead, Mickey Monday. I know you had some deep questions you wanted to ask. Um, yeah, I kind of want to get into um, a bit of your story here. But before I do that, so just to get a, a better understanding of what we have, um, have witnessed or experienced as well with your film, this is, this is but a amalgamation of your story. It's not, it's not the entire film. It's just segmented in a short format, correct? Yes, um, it is a part of a trilogy, a Black okay. Trans Lives Matter trilogy. So the first film was called The Greatness After, and then um, this one is The Love Throughout, and then we're going to have a third one that's going to come with a whole different angle. Um, and so the trilogy together is going to make, you know, one short piece, um, you know, a, a one short project. Because the thing about it is a lot of people have a short attention span. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I am really glad we bought it from this angle to start off with just to kind of like test to see what the people want, because we're new to production, you know, um, and but we also had we have our ears to the streets. So we're like, OK, this is what's going on. Short films. People do not have long attention spans. La la la. So what we do is give them bite size. Um, but they, but they're still there long enough that they can lose themselves and get a full story out of all three of them, you know. Okay. Wow. Well, yeah, I, I did watch. I watched the video in its entirety, and I was completely blown away by the rawness, the emotion in there. And um, you know, you don't necessarily have to be a part of one particular community to understand and empathize, and you know, see the struggles and internalize what you know you personified on screen through acting you know that you can feel in yourself or take bits and pieces of it so I, I just wanted to say that so the viewers that are watching you know don't feel like they um don't have to you know feel a certain way like it, it's inclusive it doesn't you know even though it talks about your story specifically and how people um you know in the modern day deal with those same issues like anyone can easily apply themselves and, and feel the same you know feel connected to your story that's yeah. a really important point Mickey, if I can jump in for a second, just because sure, sure. that is the point, right? Yes. Um, when we look at the LGBTQ community in general, already marginalized, the most marginalized among them are trans women in particular of color. Um, so 
that thing that you just said is the whole point. It's to create those, those links and bridges of humanity for those people that think that they have nothing in common, you know, mm -hmm. with a person of trans experience. Yes, you do. You absolutely do. There's an underlying humanity in all of these films. That is, that is the intent. It is to sort of bond uh, this community with the community at large. Yeah, we definitely wanted to bridge that gap. Um, that's something I'm proud of. I, I share this uh, often that the majority of my following or what some people call a fan base. Hey! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, it's, it's largely, um, uh, they don't identify as LGBT in any way, shape or form. And I always commend them for just being open, you know, to, to someone that's not like them. Right. And the overwhelming messages that I get from people who, you know, one of the best things I love is when they say, I don't understand, but it's okay. And I always tell them, it's not for you to understand, you know, it's just, it's just not, everything is not for us to, to understand, but we just need to have some type of acceptance and, and compassion and understand that we are all simply human. We go through the same emotions. If you put a list of feelings on a piece of paper, we've all felt them, you know? Mm. So, you know, it, I feel like this is really going to bridge a gap. Definitely, 100%, I agree with you. Uh -huh. um, and then, you know, just after, after having to release this to the general public and, um, you know, hearing the reception, of course, there's going to be reception, period, because like I said, it's just a, a great piece of art. It's good, excuse me, it's a great uh, piece of work, artwork, if you will. Um, what what will be the next steps? Is there, will you see yourself doing more like panels or campaigning, maybe doing a bit of advocacy for, uh, you know, for the trans community, you know, LGBTQ, uh, you know, spectrum? What, what do you see, what do you guys see yourself doing once this video has, you know, completely come to, I mean, this movie, excuse me, this movie has completely come to fruition and, um, you know, you can just take it from there. What I see us doing, well, we're going to start off with the premiere, that's November 2nd, and during the premiere, we're going to have a panel, we're going to have a, a couple of speakers from the LGBT community, they're um, activists, motivational speakers, uh, they're very prominent and very well respected in the LGBTQ plus community, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to be definitely th that the same point that we wanted to make in the film. We want to drive it home during the premiere because this is going to be the opportunity for people to ask questions. It'll be interactive, and yes, we will be doing more of this. Um, like I said, we have the third part of the trilogy that's going to be after this, uh, and then that's going to come with more interviews, more panels, more opportunities to get this message across, you know? We also want to package the, these three stories um, for potential submission into short film fest, LGBTQ film fest that happen worldwide. So, um, and really beyond that, it's to continue telling these stories uh, and to continue building these really important bridges, um, which, in a few days, <laughs> may become lifelines, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, this, this election, um, so much hangs in the balance for all mar marginalized populations. And, um, you know, vibes out to the universe that it all goes the right way, but, um, you know, it's, it's an important time for, for all of us here. Very important, very. It's, it's crazy that because we, we didn't even, we were so ingrained into work, we didn't piece together the timing of when it's going to be released. And it's definitely an important time. So, yeah. Mm, wow. The, yeah. the universe works in mysterious ways, truly. <laughs> and, and, you know, yeah. And, and David, you know, just to kind of um, get a sense of, you know, your mind and all of this, because even though you were, you know, the, the, the force behind the scenes, um, you, you know, you definitely can also identify with um, some of the things that are, that are um, you know, being touched on. 
in the in the film. So can you kind of give us a bit of your past experiences and, and things that you, you know, you've kind of had to persevere through in order to um like even even in modeling, you know, when you, you have to just kind of break down barriers and fight to get certain things out. Like can you share some of those with us? Certainly. I mean with me in as a I was signed as a, I'm 54 and I was signed as a model four years ago when I was 50 years old. So um you know it's ageism, basically. It's the fact that brands don't think to uh, sell in this direction, in my direction, or the direction of who I represent uh, as a model, even though, you know, and you have all the big fashion houses having 20 year olds holding their Gucci bags and everything, but wanna guess who's buying those? Mom and dad. Mom and dad are laying down the MX card and buying those things and buying it for themselves, you know, the, the 50 plus population is a, a vibrant um, and, and you know, wealthy consumer machine, but they still want to put children in all the ads. So that's been the biggest thing. I, I regularly crash castings. It's one of my favorite things to do. A, a brand will not advertise. They'll ask for models up to 28 years old and I'll show up anyway. Um, and a lot of, most of the time I would say it works in my favor, which is, you know, which is great. I love it when a brand opens their mind to that possibility where you have really, um, you know, troubled times right now um, uh, across all boundaries of equality, but particularly across racial boundaries. And many brands have interpreted diversity as, um, you know, a, a, a dozen, uh, two dozen 20 year olds of different ethnic, you know, of a different ethnic heritage. When really you have to think of diversity in a broader way, it's ability, it's age, it's uh, size. You know, there's so many different layers and directions that it goes into. So there are only a few brands out there that really get the whole picture. We're just starting to see some celebrities grab onto it. So, um, you know, so that is the connection to how, you know, some of the, the obstacles that I encounter on a regular basis uh, in modeling, but they're nothing compared to you know, those that are facing um, trans people of color in particular. And another thing, I'm glad you brought that up about the brands starting to kind of get involved and, and, and get it. Um, that's why I love uh, Rihanna and the Fancy Line. And I still haven't gotten the chance to watch the show because we've been so consumed with this. But um, I love that because uh, the the organization that is sponsoring our um our whole premiere is called our children's story and i have been a part of doing an inclusion fashion show with them for the last what three years and we've done three different cities and they um their organization that helps to find resources for families um, that are caring for loved ones with special needs so we do a lot of inclusive projects because like the parallels between the LGBT community and the special needs community. I mean, we're so used to being discredited and pointed at and laughed at and mocked and, you know, the butt of jokes and all of that stuff. So to see that these lines are starting to, you know, to open up and understand what real diversity looks like. Um, I w and the other thing I will say too, I don't know if, if you're noticing this too, David, that a lot of the castings that are coming in now for us have just been stripped down. They want us like literally just waking up out of bed. Like, um, could you please cast without brushing your teeth? Um, yeah, we yeah. Rather yeah. you not wipe right. the cold out your eyes. Like they yeah. want real people. They're sick of, they're overproduced, over made up, over airbrushed. So it's kind of moving in the right direction, hopefully. Hopefully it's not a trend. There's a limit to that direction for me, however. I've seen a couple recent campaigns where I'm like, oh my God. It yes, looks like I'm like, you want me to do what? Right, right. <laughs> I know. I'm like, whoa, there's got to be some measure of aesthetic there, please. Yeah, because I'm going to do a little concealer, okay? <laughs> and it's I not cheap. I woke up concealed. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm but, serious. I, but Lily, I have a question for you. I, I want to know after everything you've been through, how did you stay motivated? I mean, how did you get to that point where you was able to get off of drugs? You was able to, you know, um, get out of that shell. What motivated you to finally be free and be yourself and to, um, you know, go to rehab or whatever steps you needed to take to get to where you are today? Um, what motivated, what motivated me was not being free and not being myself. Mm -hmm. It was evidence. It was the evidence of those things. It brought me to a crossroads because I see it all the time, not just with myself, but just in others as well. We all have faced different crossroads in our life, right? So I got to a crossroad in my life where I was like, okay, I can either continue down this path and be miserable and make everybody the problem, right? Mm -hmm. It's all of you. It's not me. The world is against me. Da 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 da. Okay. Or I can try something different because we already know what that looks like. We've been doing that for a minute. So <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't hurt to try something a little different. So, how about I try taking ownership, one, listening, two, and just figuring out who I am. And it took the help, it took a, a community, it took a, 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 a village you know, to raise this adult child. Um, and so that's what it really was. It just, I, I got to a crossroads where I really knew I had to make a decision. This decision had to be made. And um, I'm glad I made the decision that I did. And so once you experience a level of peace and freedom, honey, you're, it ain't nothing or nobody that can, that you, no, I don't care who, it is like that comes first for me in my life today uh and and so yeah I, I think this film definitely illustrates the process and that's the other thing david and i wanted to make sure we put in there the process like we wanted you know you you saw the process because i think in this microwave society everyone just thinks that i wake up concealed but <laughs> i don't Okay, and um, yeah, so it's just like, they need to see, okay, this happened, then this happened, they just need to see in order some time, we, we put, we, you know, put the time in there, and it just takes time, it takes work, it takes consistency, it takes a village, you know, um, no man is an island on their own, so. Yeah. Well, who was your bigger supporters, though? Because, like, watching that film, you really couldn't go to your family for support, you know, when you was trying to tell them stuff, people would say, no, 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 or take take the toys from you, you know, at that point. So who were your supporters back then? Well, my dad, yeah, was, right. yeah, my dad is and was one of my biggest supporters. Now, I didn't look at it as support. It, mm -hmm. it was, you know, he was called other things back then. <laughs> um, but I came to realize he was support, you know, when I was able to take ownership. And um, the film is actually dedicated to my late mentor, Ray Brown. Um, he okay. passed last year at the age of 94. And mm. he was one of the biggest um, inspirations. And then I have an, another mentor, um, Tori, Tori Reed, um, that is currently still in my life, still mentoring me, um, knows me <laughs> inside and out. And, you know, not limited to those two, but those two were, you know, and then um, my best friend, Orlando, he's, you know, you'll, you'll meet Orlando. And, um, you know, so I, I had such, and I have such an amazing support system, you all. Like, I feel very rich, very rich. Like, <laughs> with no money, whenever I have, like, no matter how much money I have or don't have, I feel rich because I know that I have a really good crop of people in my life that hold me accountable, but I have to allow them to hold me accountable. And it doesn't feel good in the moment, but I wouldn't have gotten through that and then gotten past, you know, cause once you, people think once you, you get off of drugs, then it's like life is hunky dory. Or they think when you come out the closet that you've arrived and now you just love yourself and, all of the no like no 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 like it has nothing to do with any of that it has nothing to do with sexual preference or 
any of that. Like you could replace any of my insecurities with your insecurities or your insecurities. We all have them. We all have them. You know? So those are just my cross. That's that's just my cross. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So after everything is all said and done, once the once the movie, once the film is out and you guys are on your press run and you know you're getting everything um together. What's what's you know what lays ahead in the future for you guys for both three BR and YV like what what's what's you know what's on the horizon if you will? Well, YV limited, right? <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> well, first I knew that was coming. <laughs> you knew I was coming, right? Yeah. I'm gonna take a nap first. <laughs> you know, haven't done that in a while. Uh, yeah but no seriously um i really don't see any limits from for us uh david like working with david has been an amazing situation um because i think we both i can i can speak for you i probably just say that we surprised ourselves we did. Um, with it, it's just it's been a confidence builder because we i'm telling you we went we came in semi-blind we went into the first film blind we came into this semi-blind <laughs> and um yeah no budget either let's just put that out there we right. did this off of creativity alone zero budget it's uh, all creativity um you know literally and, and i but that's fun for me that's really fun for me um i mean it's fun but you know we still need funds mm -hmm. so that's why we are uh, raising funds to put towards future projects so the next one will be um i don't know how much i'll let david give away how much about the next project but the next one is it's going to be right around the corner we're, we're going to start filming it pretty soon or you know start pre-production on it okay. so that'll be first but we got some other we got some other stuff in the in the can like already ready to kind of start like we got so many things it built our confidence we know we can do it see once you once you've experienced something you can't say it doesn't exist you can't say it doesn't you know We've experienced it. Now we have, um, we we are charged to all, um, to honor that, right? So once I learn something, I have this thing that I say to myself. Once I learn something about myself, now I am charged to honor it and honor my authenticity. So we we have to honor that, David. Yes, we do. It's you know, it's um, we are you know, we are sort of laying the foundation for the next film, which means, um, you know, we're talking to the people those stories are centered around and trying to feel which one is the right one to kind of bind with this trilogy. And even though whichever ones we don't go with doesn't mean we're not going to produce that story um, because they're also compelling and they're also resonating, you know, on a humanitarian level. So um, it's great just to be able to go out there with these two pieces of work legitimizing us and and being able to talk to great people and um and know that they feel comfortable opening up to us about these very very uh intimate stories of their lives and again it's it's nobody's you know birth to now story it's just a single slice a, a defining moment or a defining uh, uh, event in life so yeah very excited about gearing up for the third, but also, like Lily said, you know, it's opening doors to, you know, producing other things. We have the, the obviously the skills to, for some real bread and butter work that is, you know, just commercial work and everything like that. And, um, you know, we look forward to that just as much because any anytime we're collaborating and coming together on a project, we're, we're kind of in our happy place. I am definitely happy. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I created for corporate creative services for a long time. Okay. This is my first foray actually being the guy scripting, the guy behind the camera, the guy at the editing desk and all that. So um, I feel it's all been an opportunity for really to, to really spread my own creative wings in a way that I was never mm -hmm. able to do when I was designing you know websites for hedge funds uh, so and i'm doing good for mankind unlike hedge funds so um yeah that's a great feeling and lily is an incredibly resourceful and talented partner with an unbelievable 
uh, uh, network and yes, yes. fan base. <laughs> okay, there you go. Like that. There you go. Good. And uh, we will continue to serve in that regard. Yeah, and, and that's the other thing too. I want to um, shout out every single being that contributed to this. Um, because what people fail to realize when you have no budget, you know, and to pay anybody, it's like every piece, every being, every human that you add to it, it's like new balls to juggle. Like, cause like the first one, we kept it really simple cause we knew, you know, it, it's difficult when you add people, but we added a lot of people that contributed to this project. Um, and, and they just contributed because they believed in it. So shout out to all of them. I can't start naming now because I'm bad at remembering. So someone will cuss me out when they see this. Right. Name anyone. <laughs> but I will say that like, yes, but they are credited. They are credited. And yep. um, yeah, and, and like, and aside, aside from that, you know, everything that you see like in this film is, is the, the hair, the makeup, the lighting, the camera work, the wardrobe, the locations, the editing, everything um, has been between David and I. And I'm just like, wow, the resourcefulness that we've been able to pull, like, pull together. It's been, that has been fun. That has been really fun. I, I love it. So really, and you know, whoops, hold on. Um, I was about to say, David, are you trying to show us something? Like, <laughs> I, got a, your, I got a call. Yeah, I must have got a phone nerve. call. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, personally, this isn't really like blowing our own horn or anything like that, but I've always kind of felt this way, just, you know, coming into modeling, I was always more impressed with a designer on the ground here in New York yes. or anywhere. It can be Atlanta, it can be anywhere, but that designer who's pouring their blood, sweat and tears into their work with no money you know, with no d giant fashion house operation behind them. I could watch all of those Dior shows and everything, you know, in Paris, but I really don't care because when you have a billion dollar budget, you can do anything. It's, it's, it's I'm impressed by what people do with nothing. I am um, still there, that's me. Yeah. And I'm but so I know glad. We're on the time limit. But oh, yeah. I wanted you to tell everybody where they can, I mean, when, when it's going to premiere, November the 2nd, um, and where everybody can watch it at. Okay, so it's going to premiere November 2nd. Um, it's an entire event along with, we're going to have a DJ, so we're going to be dancing, maybe a little twerking going on. I'm not going to promise you anything. <laughs> um, we're going to have a whole situation going on. We're going to have, it's going to be interactive, question and answer. You can go to, eat, you can get the tickets. Oh, and it's a $10 donation. And we are giving part of the proceeds back to charity because that's just what we're all about. Um, and uh, part of one of the charities that charities that we know we're giving back to is Our Children's Story. They are phenomenal. And um, so you can go to either my Instagram or David's Instagram, um, and you can go to the link in our bio. That link will take you exactly where you need to go to purchase your tickets. Uh, my Instagram is at YB Limited. That's the letter Y, the letter B as in boy, and the word limited. Why be limited? And David <laughs> is Mr. David Han. You're going to spell out the word Mr. Okay. Because you're not leaving Wonderful. nothing out here. That's right. And 3BR Studio as well. You can find the content there too. 3BR Studio on Instagram. Awesome. Well, I want to say Thank thanks for interviewing with us, guys. Hi. Yes, Hi. yes. Thank you for having us. And like, a, uh, like I said before, I'm so proud of you. And Keep I'm so proud of you too. Yes. Congratulations. The grind is real. This has been awesome. I mean, I I've been waiting for this for a long time, so. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, like, oh my God, it, it's, it's a full circle moment. It really is. For, for me to you, it's a full circle moment. We've had many talks, many yeah. nights. Um, yeah, so that's special. That the only, uh, the only we are privy to, but many people get the benefit from those talks. They, they weren't fruitless. So I really, I really appreciate you. Well, Thanks so much for having us, really. It's such a pleasure, and congratulations on your successes. Thank you. Thank you. Mickey, my dad, did you want to say something before we get off? 
Um, yeah, really quick, I just want to thank both of you for, you know, just taking the time out to um, share your experiences and also highlight this, uh, like I said, this piece of artwork that you guys have. Um, you know, I like, I personally can't wait for the rest of the series to come out, a trilogy to come together. And, um, you know, when you guys have it, just let us know and we'll bring you guys right back here to talk about it. Yay! We've got plans in our places. Thanks so much. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Well, y'all have a blessed Tuesday, and we definitely will be watching out. All right. Thanks for having us. Thanks so Thanks. much. You're welcome. Right. Have a great All Tuesday. Right. Bye. One, two, three.